Today I'm gonna to be talking about the best grips for your AR, which we all know the A2 ain't it. By the way, whatever you do, and for the love of God, do not play any uh, games with how many times I'm gonna use the word grip today, okay? Just, it's for your health. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms, here to talk about grips. Getting a grip on your AR, or similar type of firearm. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a moment, but ultimately this guy, this right here, means a lot. It's all about your shooting position, your comfort, what feels good to you, and we've got a lineup of a bunch of different grips to try out today, and I wanna hear from you all course, all about your favorite grips, uh, the ones that you like to run on your personal setups, maybe on some that you have built. Uh, what is your favorite? And on top of that, well, out of all the ones I'm going to be showing today, I mean, I got like more than just a handful. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite. And I'm going to kick it off with the old school, cool, it's not cool. It's the A2 grip. It's uh, what's still on service rifles today, like the M16, M4, things along those lines. This Colt, uh, M16 is a uh, fantastic rifle, been one of our very, it's super popular actually, like you guys have been buying the heck out of these for obvious reasons, it's, it's freaking cool. Uh, but it does come with the A2 grip. And personally, I just am not a fan. I just don't like the A2 grip. It comes on the, you know, Barrett 50 cals, comes on some scars and everything, you know, and it's just like, dude, why, why, why? It's a plastic, about a 25 degree grip angle, so it's not all that ergonomic. And then you got this ridiculous little finger tab thing that's in the way. And it's just, um, I don't know of anybody that actually really enjoys the A2 grip. If you do, well, you're simply wrong, right? I mean, even in the early iteration of the M16, let's go to the A1 here. It was better. It was ultimately the same thing, but minus that little finger tab, right? This is actually more comfortable, if you ask me. It's a little bit slimmer. It's not as bulky, I guess, but that feels a lot better than than that. And I want to hear your perspective on that one, guys, because uh, maybe I'm just picky about it. It's not like I can't shoot with it. Uh, but it's just something I don't prefer, right? I prefer something else a little bit, mm, even though it might have similar grip angles, they overall have a better texture, have better ergonomics all around, maybe a better uh, type of uh, material that it's made out of. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's fast forward a, quite a few decades from the original M16 to now what we have here on the American Defense Manufacturing AR. Uh, this is a fantastic rifle, by the way. Uh, but we've got the Magpul MOE grip. Basic simple. It's a uh, still hard plastic, just like what the A2 was that I was just showing you guys, like this, trash. And, uh, but with that, it has overall just a better feel to it. It's a, it's a little bit thicker of a grip, has a little bit better texture if you ask me, and the material, even though it's more polymer, it just feels a little, a little bit more abrasive instead of this, which is a little bit more Slippery, I guess you could say. It just doesn't have as good of a texture to it, but this one does. Uh, also, you'll notice on some A2 grips and whatnot, you don't really get that um, that beaver tail, like right back here. This something that is something that offers a little bit more comfort as well, because then you're not just gripping the metal of the lower receiver. You're kind of getting that web of your thumb right in here on the back strap of that grip, which just feels, again, a lot more ergonomic and comfortable. So that is something I'm definitely a fan of. Also with the MOE grips by Magpul, you've got, well, your little secret compartment for whatever type of goodies or Skittles or NFA paperwork. Hmm. <laughs> you can use that. Uh, that, you know, a little secret compartment right under there. So, you know, a nice little feature, something that some people may enjoy or not. I don't know, tell me what else do you hide in there? The Skittles or M&M guys. I can already hear the crayon jokes coming too. I don't, just shut up. But maybe you want something a little bit slimmer. Magpul does also offer the MOE SL. So it's ultimately the same grip, but slimmer. And this one does feel really, really good in my hands. I really like the standard MOE as it is, but something about the SL, again, you have that same texture, same material that it's made out of. Uh, so you also still have the back strap right back here, texturing on the back strap, also on the front and the sides. Uh, but it's just slimmer. That's all there is to it. However, you don't have your little secret compartment at the bottom, okay? So you can't really hide all your, fun, you know, fun little goodies in there and whatnot. But if you're wanting to go for something a little bit, depending on your style of build, right? Maybe you want something ultra lightweight. Uh, maybe you want something really slim, narrow. Then maybe this grip is for you. Or maybe you just don't have that big of hands and you just want something that's a little bit more comfortable for you to shoot. So check out the SL also. 
Now with that, Magpul makes, um, like I said, an assortment of grips and AR accessories, as we all know. Uh, like on the Nemo back here, which is our current giveaway, we have the MIAA, M M -I -A -D, M -I -A -D, however you want to pronounce it. But ultimately, this is a interchangeable grip. Uh, you can change out the back strap and the front strap on it. So if you wanted to get rid of the little A2 tab, and I'll just go ahead and pick this up and show it. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to get rid of that subtle A2 tab, you can. This one's not as bad as the standard A2. As you can tell, it really is a lot more pronounced on the actual A2, uh, which, you know, just, it's, it's not fun for me. Uh, so that's why I haven't felt like taking the time to actually remove the grip and change that front strap out, because this honestly doesn't feel all that bad at all. And somebody adjusted my stock, but this right here feels very good to me. It still falls right in line between these two fingers instead of like, you know, wherever else it's supposed to fall, but it falls right in between the middle and the ring finger there, and that's that's okay. Still get your little secret compartment, no back strap on the MIAD as it comes, but like I said, it's completely interchangeable with the different types of attachments, if you will. So you can switch all that out to make it whatever you want it to. And that's something that I think a lot of people are enjoying because customizing your grips and everything else about, well, I mean, everybody's doing it. I mean, everything at this point now, if it's not modular, then what's the point, right? I mean, heck, DOD is saying, if your guns that you're gonna be giving us for our next contracts aren't modular, we don't want it. Glock learned the hard way. So then we can move on to like some of that rubber over molded things uh, with still in that 25 degree grip angle. Now this is one of the ergo grips that's out there that also features a little secret compartment underneath here that has a rubber cap. You can just pop that off and, and uh, stuff whatever you want in there and then put that cap back on. You also have the beaver tail up here. And on top of that, now you're starting to see we've got integrated finger grooves. For some people you like them, some people they don't. Personally, this is a super comfortable grip for me, even at that 25 degree grip angle or slightly less, slightly more, it's a give or take. It's, it feels better than an A2, put it that way. Uh, but I can tell you on this M4A1, we got a few of these left, I think. Maybe, maybe one left. But uh, anyway, we gave away one of these recently, by the way. Uh, brand new in the box to the winner, so uh, congratulations to the winner of that. Uh, which reminds me, classifyarms.com, get signed up for our current giveaway. Anyway, cool, so Ergo Grip, very comfortable. Uh, again, that rubber overmold to it. So it's not just hard plastic or polymer or anything like that. Very grippy. Uh, it also stands up pretty well once it gets like any type of moisture, liquid on it, anything like that. You're sweating all day. You can still get a really positive grip on that type of grip. And then keeping with that kind of like rubber overmold style on this LWRCI here, their standard grip is actually fantastic. Uh, they've got like these like little fish scale design on the back strap and on the front that again allows for a really positive grip on it. Uh, but on top of that, it's more of like a smoother type of polymer material. Again, also with your little hidden compartment on the bottom. It's not super long of a grip, uh, which we'll show you, show you some different ones that are here in just a moment. But you do have the beaver tail that again rides uh, right up against the lower receiver. And is, like I said, for a factory grip feels pretty awesome and is one that Honestly, on an LWRCI, that's, look, the grip isn't the most difficult thing to switch out at all. So if you want something a little bit more comfortable and they're not that expensive of an upgrade, depending on what you get, but on the LWRCI, it comes naturally or just out of the box with such a quality grip that I don't feel the need to replace it. So that's how I feel about that. Now let's start talking about grips that are a little bit steeper in angle and the ones that I truly prefer. So these next couple of grips we're gonna show off are probably some of my favorites, partly due to the grip angle. Uh, actually, no, a lot to do with the grip angle, which is gonna be closer to that 15 degree versus that 25 degree angle like the A2 has on it. So it's gonna be a little bit steeper than what we saw before where they had a little bit more of an angle. Your, your wrist is kind of doing like this, where these, like on the B5 systems, a little, it feels a little bit more natural. My, 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 ultimately, my wrist can stay a little bit more straight and parallel with the gun, which just makes me a little bit happier. Uh, and that's just something I, I prefer to feel, or at least something that I prefer on this. Now that's the B5 Systems grip, which has, again, a pretty aggressive texture to it. Feels like, um, feels like a little bit softer than like grip tape, you know, like on a, like on your skateboard deck. Uh, so that feels pretty good. A little bit like a, you know, a lighter grit uh, sandpaper feel. No secret compartment, however, just a empty hole in the bottom beaver tail uh, right here at the lower receiver for that web of your thumb to sit in. So again, this is personally one of my favorite grips. Obviously I'm running it on my 
much hated Mark 18. I'll run it on my Mark 12 as well. But another grip that is fantastic that has a similar grip angle, and if you like the secret compartment, then maybe check out BCM and their Gunfighter series. Again, similar type of texture on the sides, uh, no texture on the back and, or the front. Well, the front has like these little horizontal lines right here. So I don't think it's as grippy as the B5, but it's still a very ergonomic and very comfortable grip that comes factory on this PWS that you see right here. So it definitely feels a lot better than the A2. It's also the same grip, the BCM gun, Gunfighter, that I have on my SCAR in progress dream build right here of the SCAR 17. Let me know what else I need to put on this guy because I still got a ways to go. I know I do, I just haven't figured out what I want. But for me, I prefer a stiffer grip, grip angle like what you see in the B5 and the BCM. What about you though? Do you prefer that? Let me know, yes or no. And then of these two, which one do you prefer? Let me know. Continuing on with the uh, Mark 18 Love, we've got a, another Mark 18 pistol here, uh, but this one's coming with Daniel Defense's factory grip. What's kind of unique about this grip is it does have an integrated trigger guard right here. So if you wanted to replace this grip, you'd also have to replace the trigger guard, keep that in mind. Now, as far as grip angle goes, it's solid. It has also too a polymer fill right up top here, but where your hand is actually gripping down towards the bottom of the grip, uh, you've actually got this rubber overmold on it that has kind of like the uh, Daniel Defense like tread on it, and it does feel pretty good. You've got a very subtle little finger tab and undercut right here, which again, I'm not always a big fan of, but in this case, it feels pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it, and uh, and it just, it works. It seems to be just fine. It's not something I would immediately run out and replace, but I kind of did because I like the B5 systems better, right? So keep in mind too, I like a beaver tail. Uh, you don't have that. You just got the lower receiver of the gun right where the web of your thumb sits. Again, not that big of a deal, but if it's my gun and I want to have all of the ergonomics and a little bit of comfort, then I'm gonna do that. Uh, continuing on with a similar type of fashion, uh, with like the rubber overmold and all, we've got the MOE K2 Plus by Magpul. This is a fantastic grip overall. It just, you've got your little secret compartment, you've got the rubber overmold, you've got the horizontal lines cut in the front and back strap of the grip, you've got the beaver tail for, your, for the web of your thumb, you've got an excellent grip angle. I mean, this right here just feels fantastic on this gun. And if you're not a big fan of that rubber overmold, I know some people kind of like don't like the texture, don't like the feel, I get that. Uh, they also make like a standard MOE K, uh, which is right here what we have on our K2, which is what we have on my Stag three gun competition rifle. Uh, ultimately the same grip, same grip angle, just doesn't have that rubber overmold to it. Um, is it gonna be something that I replace? This is uh, exactly how my Stag uh, three gun came. I don't think so. It's a rifle that, all right, so I'm sorry, it's a grip that feels honestly really good to me still. You've got Magpul's little integrated uh, texture in here for again, just your gripping pleasure. And it really works out for me just how I need it to. So I don't think I'm gonna replace this right away. It works, I'm happy with it. Magpul again, they've been in the game for a seriously long time and they understand the ergonomics behind the AR and they just keep making products that complement that. So continuing on with more grips. So now we've got kind of like our, our shorties or minimalist kind of styles coming up here, which are pretty neat. So we've got uh, a grip here by Driven Arms Co, which is, if you haven't heard from them, check them out because this thing is pretty nice and they have a whole lineup of different grips with steeper grip angles and just different cuts into it. As you can see, kind of like how naturally your the web of your thumb's gonna be right up here in the beaver tail and then the way your, your hand just fits that this is a very comfortable grip, one that I, uh, I'm pretty impressed with on the EPC-9 here by Aero Precision uh, that we threw on. And I think I'm gonna be playing with more of their grips because like I said, the overall texture, you got again, the horizontal cuts right up front of the grip as rear as, as well as in the rear back strap. And then you got kind of like this dotted texture that's just slightly raised. Uh, feels kind of like some 1911 grips out there. I, I know you guys wanna know what I'm talking about, like some of the G10 grips that are out there. Uh, that right there just overall really comfortable and then from there we've got uh we've already talked about like the um the k2 k2 plus uh but now we've got the little bit shortened and no beaver tail the moe k just a simple k grip very basic uh but again a little bit more slim so it kind of reminds me of a little bit of the like the moe sl because it's got a really narrow uh just not as wide of a grip but it does feel pretty good on the honey badger that you see right here. Everybody loves a honey badger too, especially with the trash panda silencer. But anyway, comfortable grip, minimalist. Again, if that's what you're looking for, try it out. And then we've got Reptilla who makes awesome 
products as it is. I mean, we've got optics mounts by them, which I'll actually be showing you here in just a moment when we talk about another style of grip. Uh, but this one, ultimately, you got a texturing and you know um, this this grip extra added grip on the back and the front of the grip. Nothing on the sides, which is fine. It feels fine. Um, I prefer to have something on the sides though, just because I'm picky. Uh, but you do have that l very shallow beaver tail that you see right here. And it does feel pretty good. Probably not one of my favorites, but it's not a bad grip. You know, again, these are a very affordable upgrades to your gun, especially over the a2 grip, right? And uh, we've talked about, you know, shorties and AR pistols and you know, pistol caliber carbines, whatever you want to call them. Now, pulling out the uh, Fix by Q, uh, what we've got here is the Ergo Shines grip. Now, something like this, very basic, very simple, no hidden compartment, no back strap. But I did find this to be probably one of the most comfortable options for this grip on a bolt gun. Notice again, very steep, uh, steep grip angle, which makes Gripping this guy, running everything I need to run, just very easily. I mean, it's just, for bolt guns, I don't really need a whole lot, right? Granted, there's a lot that you can throw out there. Some of them have shelves uh, or like a shelf built into the grip that you can rest your thumb on, so that way you can e easily actuate that safety or whatever else it might be. But I know Ergo kind of designed this for more compact firearms. Personally, I like it a lot on the bolt gun here, so. Let me know what you think about that, right? Very, again, basic, simple grip that does everything I need it to do with a great texturing all along the side. Um, even though it looks like it might be pretty rugged and rough, it's actually pretty smooth, uh, honestly. Uh, still the horizontal lines cut in the back, which are actually a little bit more abrasive than what the actual texturing is on the side of the grip, uh, just very slightly. But again, this feels very comfortable, mostly the grip angle and then the overall width and just the size of the grip feels really good on the Q fix here. So ultimately there's a lot of grips out there. You know, get a grip, go get a grip for your gun, whatever it might be. There's a lot of different options and I've hit on a couple that you may not have heard of before. I've hit on definitely some more of the popular ones that are out there and let me know which ones are your favorite, both of which uh, we've shown in the video today and ones that you personally own. Maybe there's a manufacturer out there I don't even know about yet that I definitely need to uh, hop on that train. Uh, one I didn't bring up, but you guys have definitely seen in previous ones, is on my AR-10 build, uh, the Sharps Brothers. It's a metal wood grip with a wood panel. It's, uh, it's pretty good looking. If you want to go for something a little bit more classy, uh, then check that one out, all right? But uh, anyway, so let me know. Again, which one is your favorite? You guys already know pretty much what my favorite is, the B5 Systems. I just really like that overall size of that grip. If you're running gloves, things like that, having a little bit larger larger or longer of a grip is a good thing. And the B5 just really seem, seems to hit that at home for me. But again, let me know what you guys think, right? And the price point on them, they're, like the, they're, they're pretty inexpensive, so that's nice. And finishing the video off though, the Magpul MIAD, MIAD, whatever the heck grip that is on our current giveaway, the Nemo is what will be coming when one of you guys win it. So head on over to classicfirearms.com, utilize the code word you see at the bottom of your screen right now to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. It is coming with the AccuTac bipod, the VCM vertical, the vertical grip up front, which is more like a five degree slant to it. So it's not completely vertical. So if you got an AR pistol, keep that in mind. Uh, but on top of that, you've got a five and a half power Trigicon ACOG that it's coming with, with the Trigger Tech Trigger. This thing is a lot of fun, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, which is just a fantastic cartridge. So again, classicfarms.com is where you can get your entries there. And I'll see you guys down in the comment section. What are some of your favorite grips? It's about time for me to start another AR build anyway, so I'm sure I'll be looking at trying something new. So let me know what you guys think. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless, and we'll see you next time at classicfarms.com.